You've probably heard about the new Minor Variant Finder software and how it will enable 5% somatic variant detection using Sanger sequencing. Now just give me five minutes and I will show you how the software works step by step. Minor Variant Finder is perfect for those requiring a cheap, fast, and accurate way to call low frequency variants when working with a small number of targets. Now it's also a great tool for those doing NGS confirmation with Sanger sequencing. So how do you get Minor Variant Finder in your lab? Well, first, visit thermofisher.com forward slash MVF. Here you can download a demo version or purchase the full version of the software. Now, the software installs locally on your computer but runs in your web browser. Once installation is complete, just click on the icon and your web browser will open automatically. Minor Variant Finder will greet you with all of your active projects, allowing you to manage them all in one spot. Let's start a new project. Here you see the traces view, and this is where you import your trace files. After uploading your AB1 files, the software will give you an overview of the quality of your files. Green represents a good quality score, and red, well, that means a bad score. Double click on the file name, and take a closer look at the traces. The quality score is determined by a set of parameters, and you have the option to define those parameters, such as signal to noise, trace score, read length, and so forth. This data looks pretty good, so let's move on to the reference tab. There are two ways to create a reference. One is to use the normal control as a reference, which is the easiest way, and the second is to create a reference and or upload an NGS file. We will use a control reference here, so let's move on to the organize tab. The software compares the forward and reverse traces of your control sample to the forward and reverse traces of your test samples. You can drag your files manually into the control and the test specimen buckets. So first, create an amplicon, move the control files to the control buckets, then create a folder for each test specimen. Another option is to use the auto-organize function using a naming convention. Click on Organize, and tell the software which part of the file name is the amplicon, the specimen, and the control. Click Organize, and everything is auto-organized. Next, go to the Analysis tab, and verify that all your data is set up correctly, and click on Run Analysis. And here are your results. Here are the reference traces, and also the minor variants identified in the test sample files. If you go to the table view, you can see a list of all the candidate minor variants with percentages in both forward and reverse strands. The color here is a review indicator which tells you how much attention you should pay when inspecting these variants. Green means that the algorithm has a high confidence it's made the right call. Yellow means it should be followed up by a closer visual inspection of the electropharogram, and red means that the algorithm is not quite sure, so an inspection is absolutely required. Let's examine these traces by looking at the electropharogram. Here are the forward traces, and here are the reverse traces. This is the control, test sample, and our noise minimized results. The minor variant called is here, and use the slider bar to adjust the electropharogram for a closer inspection. The percentage of both the forward and reverse are on top, and it should be similar for the same variant. If all the data convinces you that this is the true variant, you can click accept. If you disagree, you can insert a comment, and that's it for the review process. Click on Report and you can generate a variant file of all your findings. Minor Variant Finder is also a great tool to confirm your NGS results. Check out the user guide on detailed instructions of how to set up a reference, an NGS VCF file for comparison, or how to get a combined report. And again, to download your copy of Minor Variant Finder, go to thermofisher.com forward slash MVF.